What's up, fellas? We in the building. Louis V. Gang stand all the way up. <laughs> anyway, man, let's, let's make it happen. Let's get it. What's up, YouTube, man? It's your boy, Darren. I'm the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. The Fashion and Fragrance Channel, man. This is the channel where fashion and fragrance collide. So if you're into fashion, if you're into fragrance, I hope you won't mind subscribing to the channel. And make sure you guys don't forget to hit the bell icon as well. That way, anytime I upload new content on this channel, you will be one of the first to get notified. All right, guys. So on today's video, I'm going to be talking about what I feel are my best 10 fragrance pickups from the year of 2022. So this is kind of one of those year in review kind of fragrance list. Honestly, I get so many fragrances in on a weekly basis. So when you start talking about it about a year, honestly, that may be some fragrances that I've gotten this year that I may kind of get it crossed up with last year, especially if I got it earlier this year. But I really tried to make sure that I was conscious of what I actually brought into the collection this year so I could give you guys the most true depiction of what I really feel have been 10 of the best. So coming up right after the intro, my top 10 fragrance pickups from the year of 2022. You guys don't want to miss this. So if you want to see what's on this list, you know the routine. Keep it locked right here. Let's get it. The Bowtie Fragrance Guy. All right, guys, we are back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in. Let's go ahead and jump right into this video. Now, this first one is actually a first two <laughs> because um, I couldn't make my mind up between these two fragrances. You know, I've talked to the owner of this brand, uh, Christian, and told him I keep going back and forth between these two as it relates to what's my favorite. I got these fragrances about well, maybe a month and a half, two months ago in both of these are so good. I mean, so many of them from this collection are really good, but these two, man, I keep going back and forth, but it's from the house of Argos. And the first one is Danae. And we also have Adonis Awakens. And again, I go back and forth between these two as it relates to which one do I really like the best. And it's really hard for me to say. Uh, this one is really about rose, and I've said it, grapefruit. I love that grapefruit raspberry thing that this has going on, especially the raspberry. It's such a game changer. And I told you guys I put it in my top rose fragrances because it doesn't have any oud in it. So I really like this fragrance. There's something creamy about it. Uh, there's something that's, to my nose, is almost gourmand in the background. This is just freaking fantastic. And then you have Danae, which is really warm, creamy, and woody. There's some cashmere wood in here, some gaiac wood. Um, <clears throat> in this one as well. It opens up a little bit fresh with a bergamot lemon combination. Oh man, this one has sandalwood as well, so it's really creamy when it dries down. I cannot make my mind up between these two. Um, there's also some patchouli in here, man, when it dries down. And I just, very unique creation, and I love both of these, so I can't decide. So I'll put them both in. So this is like a tie. So you're gonna see um, nine more fragrances on this list. So these two go in as a tie um, on my best fragrance pickups of 2022. Now this next fragrance, man, shout out to Twisted Lily. Uh, this isn't a Twisted Lily sponsored video, but they did send this fragrance to me. Um, a lot of the influencers I noticed that worked with Twisted Lily over the course of the year, kind of like a nice Christmas gift gesture. Uh, I think they sent some fragrances, a fragrance out to a lot of the influencers that worked with Twisted Lily. Uh, they kind of access some of our favorite fragrances that we didn't have. This was one on my list. And my God, it's good. It's good. Now, I always link Twisted Lily down. I just want to say, though, if you want to check them out, I'm, you know, check out the link. Uh, you can always save 10% from Twisted Lily. But man, this fragrance, Amwash 45, Reflection Man, Reflection 45, I'm sorry. This stuff is, is dynamite. Now, the bottle looks like Portrayal Man from uh, this, this same brand. Kind of has that kind of psychedelic look to it. If you guys can see that. 
kind of has that psychedelic thing going on. It's hard for the camera to pick it up because the way that the bottle is. But anyway, <sighs> best way to describe it, describe this practically, this is a dirty version of Reflection Man. So as we're Reflection Man, you know that name Reflection almost gives you this idea or mind switching the mindset or gives you the imagery of this purity of this fragrance and somehow that shines through when you smell it. It's a very clean, powdery, floral fragrance. And this is the same thing, but there's some dirtiness in here and I freaking love it. 45, the percent of oil concentration in this fragrance. So it's an extract to parfum and this thing lasts all day, on, all day long on my skin. This thing is fantastic. Easily one of my top 10 fragrance pickups from 2022 no cap this stuff is absolutely amazing guys so definitely one that had to make the list from Amwaj. this is reflection 45. now i've also talked about this fragrance a lot so i won't spend a lot of time on it but easily one of my top 10 pickups this year from the harmonist hypnotizing fire hypnotizing fire a little bit smoky a little bit incensey uh fragrance with primarily cinnamon that's really what this fragrance is about cinnamon is one of my top fragrance notes i kind of have a six notes that I think are my primary favorite favorite notes and fragrances and cinnamon is one of them and this is really centering around cinnamon. Hypnotizing Fire, definitely one of my top 10 pickups this year. Another one that I chose to uh, be touted as one of my top 10 pickups from the House of Chanel, man. This is Coromandel. Coromandel, I have this big 6.8 ounce bottle and also have a 2.5 ounce bottle. I had a smaller bottle at first and then when I put it on my skin, I just, I had to get the big one. I had to get it, I had to get it. Need to keep this around for the rest of my life. This stuff is amazing. Uh, it is centered around uh, the note of patchouli and white chocolate. This stuff is fantastic, man. Easily one of my top 10 pickups uh, from the house of Chanel, Cora Mandel. Now I have up next again, three fragrances from the same brand. I'll show you the first one from Bodicea Victorious, Valiant. Valiant, you talk about this particular scent. This is an orange cream sickle. Orange cream sickle or orange cream cake is what this fragrance <laughs> smells like. This stuff is incredible. It is incredible, man. It's sitting around the notes like orange notes, orange blossom. Um, in the opening and then this creamy sandalwood. That's really the best way to sum it up. This thing is fantastic. It is fantastic. It's something you have to smell. Easily one of my top 10 pickups. And then I told you the missus got this for my birthday. This is Amber Sapphire from Bodicea Victorious. This is Amber Sapphire and as the name indicates, this is an amber based fragrance. It immediately moved into my top two ambers in my entire collection. And that's really saying something because I have Amber Absolute. I have Ombre Aria from uh, Perfume Aroma. I have some amazing amber-based fragrances. And this, you just gotta get your nose on it. Get, try to get a sample of this. I know these Sapphire fragrances from Bodicea are expensive, but this one, easily, again, one of my top 10 pickups. And then of course, <laughs> Blue Sapphire. Without question, without question, a candied lemon rose oud fragrance from Bodicea. Honestly, guys, look, I did a top 10 designer fragrance releases of 2022. So if you're into more designer fragrances, see that list, I'll link it right here. But when, honestly, for me personally, where I am in my journey, and you know, I'm just talking about comparing my niche design and all that stuff together, when I do a list like this, more than likely, uh, it's gonna be more niche on the list because, you know, again, I, guys, it's been well chronicled and documented on my channel. I've talked about the designer fragrance industry and kind of where it is. There's not a lot of original creative things coming out. And a lot of the designers that I have, especially the older stuff, I already have it, the great stuff. You know what I mean? Like the Pure Havans and the, uh, the, the Noir Extremes. Uh, and fragrances, the oral intense, those kind of fragrances I already have. So a lot of the stuff that's coming out that I picked up this year, they just don't hold a torch or a candle to this stuff. I'm just being honest. So easily, one of my top 10 pickups from the House of Bodicea, the Victorious, 
blue sapphire. It's just, it's just crazy how good this is. The next one, guys, is a fragrance I've talked a lot about this year. I don't have to go into a lot of detail about this, but from Mizen Sir, this is Ode Jean Jean. And this is an amazing, uplifting, refreshing ginger based fragrance. Again, the name of this fragrance stands for or translates to ginger water. And again, it is simply one of the most uplifting, invigorating, refreshing fragrances that I have in my collection. I rocked the heck out of this fragrance this uh, past, you know, spring, summer time frame. I got my usage out of this thing. And next spring and summer, I'm gonna do the same thing. It's just simply one of the best fresh fragrances in my collection. Again, this is from the house of Mize and Sir, and this is called Ode Jean Jean. And last but not least, guys, I talked about this fragrance here recently on one of my Gourmand fragrance videos. I, I explored this house a lot this year, and you guys will notice that's one of the things that I'll do. I'll explore a fragrance brand and kind of go through and sample and find what I like from the uh, said brand, and I'll kind of collect that way. I spent a lot of time with Profume Aroma this year. This is one of the best, man. This is Sodiso. And again, this is chocolate cake. There's orange, uh, orange blossom, and there's a chocolate accord in here. And again, it just smells like chocolate cake. You got Guys, you gotta smell this thing. If you like gourmands, especially if you're, a, if you're a chocolate cake lover, you're probably gonna spray this on your arm and try, <laughs> try to buy yourself. It's absolutely amazing, man. And uh, again, it's from the House of Perfume Aroma. One of my favorite pickups from 2022. Again, this one is called Soiso. All right, guys, and last but not least, um, I almost left this fragrance off. Uh, but this fragrance is another, comes from another brand that I really went head first into the private collection of this fragrance this year and explored and found what I liked and added them to the collection. From the Town Four Private Blends, man, Tobacco Oud. And ever since I've had this fragrance, I've talked about it a lot for good reason. I love every freaking single thing about this fragrance. Guys, you put this on, it's cold outside, you're dressed in all black, or you're dressed upscale, you're just gonna smell mysterious. You're gonna smell like that guy. You know, that's what this fragrance is right here, man. You're gonna smell like that guy wearing this fragrance. It's tobacco, it's oud, it's whiskey, it's boozy. There's an ambery dry down to it. Oh my God, tobacco, of course. This thing is phenomenal. And I've been saying this, the theme of the list, easily. One of the top 10 fragrances I've added to my collection in 2022. Again, it's from the house of Tom Ford. This ain't gonna be for everybody. I will tell you that now, but it's 100% for me. From the house of Tom Ford, again, this is called Tobacco Food. But that's it, guys. That's my time, man. I hope you enjoyed this list today as I gave you the top 10 fragrances that I added to my collection this year, 2022. What are some fragrances that you added to your collection that you would say would be your top five fragrances that you added to your collection this year? I would love to hear what you added to your collection down in the comment section. Now, as always, I sincerely appreciate your time and attention to these videos. I know you guys don't have to watch, but you do. And I sincerely appreciate that. Now, don't forget to make sure you take a few moments to go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure you're sharing these videos out to some other folks out there that you think could use this information or maybe even find this information to be entertaining. Because I'm your guy, Darren. I'm the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I love to look good. And of course, I love to smell amazing. So until next time, guys, keep looking good. Keep smelling even better. I'll catch you on the flip side.